welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be showing you my no mirror challenge with Urban Decay's Naked Heat Palette. So, if you're interested to see how I created this beautiful eye, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's just jump right into this Naked Heat look, okay? First, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because that's what I usually always do. I always brush them first. This feels so weird, not being able to see what I'm doing. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow that I always use. Now this is gonna be the tricky part because I usually line underneath and then create hair strokes and brush it through, but where's the underneath of my brow? I think it's here. Need a tail. My tail should end right here, so an arch up here. I think, hopefully this brow looks okay. Let's do the other one. Start underneath. Um, let's, my hair strokes need to go this way, so let's, where's my arch? Oh, there it is. This is my bad brow, so doing this without a mirror, gosh, there's no way to know. I think we're good. Let's make sure it's in the middle. I'm gonna set it with my clear brow gel. That way it's not going anywhere. Now for the first step in our eye look, I'm gonna prime my lids per usual. It's my Urban Decay eye primer. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and just warm it up with my fingertips and rub it all over. I'm gonna put a little under here for my under the eye shadow. Done. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna open this baby up and I'm gonna use Ounce, which is the first shade. And you can see I blocked off my mirror and I'm just sweeping this over our primer. Now what I usually do is start with low blow. I just like this brown and I usually just cover my lid with it up into my crease. So I'm just gonna do sweeping motions very, very gently. I'm like trying to feel how it would feel when I was done blending if I was looking in the mirror. Luckily I can feel this bone right here, so I know that's my crease. Now the same brush, I'm gonna take He Devil and put that in my crease, it's just like so. Now I'm gonna mix Cayenne and Enfuego, literally the same brush, but I'm gonna bring this a little farther down and out. Feels good to me, I think. So now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up, let's see, what do I wanna use today? Let's mix Lumbre and Scorch. So I'm gonna pack this in the first half of my lid. Then I'm gonna use my spray. So I'm gonna really pack this on, like don't be afraid to really get in there. Which is a setting spray that you have. I use my Hangover from Too Faced and then pack that the first half. I'm gonna blend the edges a little bit just so it's kind of diffused into the outer corner. And then I'm gonna deepen that outer corner up. So I'm gonna take the, like a little pointed dome brush and dip it into the deep purple shade, find my crease, and go on the outer bit of it, just like that. Flip this over and blend that out and do the same on the other eye. So now let's do our lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back in with He Devil. This is dirty. Whoopsies. Let's just wipe that off a little bit. He Devil. Go under here. I'm gonna cover my whole lower lash line. I'm so nervous for when I do this liner. Doing a wing with a mirror is already hard enough. So then we're gonna take in Fuego, which is that medium purple shade and put it just right over it. And then ashes. I feel like I'm looking up like, I, like something's gonna like shine down and like a magical mirror is gonna appear and just help me out. I don't know why I keep looking up, like it's gonna help me, but hopefully it is. Let's blend this out a little bit so it can be ready for our liner. That way it's a little diffused. I do wanna use, usually I would do like a lighter inner corner or, yeah, let's just stick with it. Let's stick with what we know. So I'm gonna use Sin, and I'm gonna use this in the inner corner. I'm gonna close my eye. I'm gonna put a little under my brow bone. Where is it? Looks 
so good in the sunlight. Oh my gosh. Let's do our tight line. Well, there's a max hair on there. So let's tight line our bottom. Oh, I'm scared to poke my eye out. I'm using the zero liner from Urban. And then I want to get my top tight line. So I'm going to lift my lash a little bit. I don't think I'm ready for this. Take a deep breath. It's going to come out great. Okay. Remember where this is, Haley. Let's sweep a line across. There we go. Okay, to the other side. Um, I want it to be from here to here. Okay. I'm gonna fill it in. Okay. Start it here. Bring it back. Okay. I'm gonna fill this in. There we go. How is it looking? Are my wings even? Yeah? Okay, I think we're good. Let's pop some lashes on. Okay, let's do my left eye first, because that's my hard eye. Let's just get it over with. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's sticking to my tweet. What's happening? Okay. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's still there. Let's do the other one. I'm pretty sure something funky is going on with this eyelash. So we're gonna go down like this. Where's the middle of my eye? Stay on there. No, no, don't come off. Let's get some mascara. This is the Troublemaker Perversion, my favorite mascara. Pop it underneath. That way our natural lashes can blend in with our falsies. I'm just gonna give this a little spray. Fan this off. And we are done. This was my quick and easy look with the Naked Heat palette. I did not look in the mirror. So, dun 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 dun. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna rip this off. Get this tape off here. Okay, I'm nervous. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I mean, they don't look half bad. But like, what? Look at this. Why did I put my arch all the way up here? My lashes on though, kind of. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of surprised because I thought it was gonna look a lot worse and the colors still look really pretty. Like those two Lumbre and Scorch that I mixed look so pretty right here, especially after we wet it and put our sin in the inner corner. I really, really like that. But those eyebrows and that liner, mm, didn't really cut it. What are you gonna do? So that was my look with no mirror using the Naked Heat palette. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely try this look with a mirror and it will come out beautiful, I promise you, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video, okay? Bye!